This is astonishing news. Brexit and the European Union. Article 50 was designed never to be used, says the man who wrote the EU Divorce Clause. Giuliano Amato, a former Italian Prime Minister, claimed Britain must lose when it comes to finances, so they are forced to stay in the single market. In other words, they're going to be using every trick in the book so that it's economically impossible for Britain to leave the European Union. That sounds to me like forcing somebody to live under a system that they don't want to use. What does that mean? It's worse than slavery. Mr. Amato told a conference in Rome he had inserted the get out clause specifically to prevent the British from complaining that there was no clear cut official way for them to ball out of the Union. He says, quote, I wrote Article 50 so I know it well. My intention was that it should be a classic safety valve that was there but never used. It is like having a fire extinguisher that should never have to be used. Instead, the fire happened. When it comes to the economy, they have to lose. That's what he says. The Italians believe that if it's hard for the British to trade away from the arrangement set by the bloc, the European Union, they may consider abandoning the world's biggest trading zone. Britain voted in the referendum, June 23rd, to leave the European Union. And in order to do so, the United Kingdom will have to invoke Article 50 of the Lisbon Treaty, which starts a two-year countdown to a formal exit from the 28-nation European Union bloc. Amato served as Italian Prime Minister between 1992-93 and again 2000-2001. And later he drafted the lofty European Constitution, which eventually morphed into the less ambitious Lisbon Treaty. A committed EU supporter, Amato said that the so-called Brexit vote was a disaster and urged other European leaders not to follow the example of Britain's David Cameron, the Prime Minister who called last month's referendum. Well, you know, <laughs> this sounds more and more like something of a dictatorship throughout the whole of Europe. I mean, you know, I'm sitting here scratching my head saying, how did the West end up like this, especially Europe, which is the old continent? which has seen so many historic upheavals and has such um, respect for human rights and liberties and democracy. How did we end up like this? Which means that to these people drafting these laws, these Article 50s, to make, them, uh, make it so difficult for a country to leave the European Union, it means that they know that they're going to end up screwing the countries very badly that want to leave. And now that other countries want their own referendums, they're going around giving speeches saying that it's not to be done. Amato said, if another leader is as mad as Cameron, to offer a referendum on EU membership, for example, Holland or Austria, well, there's a lot more countries than that, about half of the European Union wants to have referendums to get out of the European Union. He says there's a risk that they would vote to quit. No kidding! Okay, so they want to leave. So you think that they're still not going to leave because they're not going to have a referendum? You're not allowing them to have referendums? That's not democracy. To show Britain the error of its ways, Mr. Amato said the European Union had to be especially tough in the Brexit talks. He said, don't give Britain the possibility of thinking that Brexit is a better way of doing what they have always done, grabbing what suits them in the European Union and opting out of what they don't like. Brexit is a total opting out. They know this very well. The more they realize that they are losing, then the more chance there is that in 2020 someone will do something about it. Britain is due to hold national elections in 2020. And Amato said he hopes a party promoting a pro-European agenda might win power and put a break on the Brexit plans. I don't think he should hold his breath for that. 
He said, I hope that the negotiations are dragging on so they won't be wrapped up by 2020. Prime Minister May, Theresa May, wants to wrap things up by 2019, but it will be easy to prolong matters, he said. Theresa May revealed today that she will not trigger Article 50 until at least January of 2017. I'll leave a link below for you for this on the Express today, July 22nd.